Hello, this is Bill Morgan, president of Parker University and Parker Seminars here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And with me today is the world-renowned spine researcher, Stu McGill. Stu, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's been a terrific pleasure. As I started my lecture today, Bill, I'm here because of you and our history. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for coming. It's, of course, you're a big draw for us. And there's this connection that the scientist with the clinician, and there's been a disconnect over the years. When I talk to scientists, they're always curious how clinicians interpret what they found. So, so can you expound on that a little bit, on how you see people interpreting the science and the data? Yeah, well, I see you as a scientist and a master clinician, and I see myself as a scientist and a clinician as well, and I think that's been the great um, fusion with our relationship over the years. As you were developing your radiology textbooks, uh, you were making the links between the image and what you see and the mechanics of what could have caused them or the mechanics of adaptation subsequent to the uh, original insult that is all there for you to see uh, as you've written about um, on the adaptations over the years so as the original wound that a person might see on an MR, it slowly turns into a scar and it's no longer painful and there must be some other pathway, but clinicians aren't used to linking the science and the mechanostimulation and the adaptation to tissues to chronic load exposure once the original insult has occurred. Yeah, my MRI books were written, I'm not, I'm not a radiologist, I'm a clinician, but you, it's, it's the interpretation. It's like seeing spondylosis, as we both know, that's that's a part of the history. Something happened there years ago to cause that degeneration of that of that disc and the osteophytes. That may not be in pain at all. Like for myself, I've I've got an old herniated disc, and I'm bone on bone, L4, L5, zero pain. Well, naturally, your body stiffened and stabilized that joint quite naturally. However, there will be a uh, extra responsibility on adjacent levels now for that motion and uh, they are going to show the sequelae to that uh, change in uh, stress profile. But it's fabulous to be able to link all of that back to the person who's in front of you and uh, interpret it in them so you can give the best guidance to create whatever foundation it is they need to be pain free. And I know your evaluation process is extensive when you evaluate a patient. Almost impractical to, to it in a system that pays RVUs based on 15 minute increments, like in the United States. Um, what advice would you give someone for their evaluation of a patient to get that initial diagnosis to figure out what is wrong with this patient? That's a fabulous question, and the answer is first, work hard to obtain clinical mastery. That's mastery in reading the person, uh, understanding the history of uh, both them and their lives and their very specific injury history that have led up to uh, why they're in pain now. Understand the impediments as to why they've failed previous attempts. Uh, and then you must spend the time with that person to put all that together. Some clinicians say, well, I, I don't have that ability with the way I'm paid. And I'll say, well, you must find it because uh, I'm paid very well to spend three hours with a person and I'm paid for my time to reach that conclusion. Uh, but it's the only way I know to get the precision and specificity uh, in understanding why they have pain and the precision in what must be done to uh, change their life basically and restore their, their pain-free capacity. There aren't too many people who are absolute failures and committed to pain for life. Amen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for bringing your, the evidence to Las Vegas and you've drawn quite a crowd. I think there's a thousand people at eight o'clock, or is it eight o'clock or 8.30 when you started? Eight o'clock. And I, I expect you'll have several hundred more come as they uh, wake up in Las Vegas after a long night of libation and, well, <laughs> and, and enjoyment. Well, it, it was two years ago when you uh, asked me would I do this, and uh, I hope I didn't hesitate. I said yes, absolutely. So thank you very thank much you. for the honor, Bill, and thanks for all you do as well. well. Thank you. Thanks for everything you do for spine care in the world.